This camera is fighting me. I started this video three times now. Let's see if we can get it this time. <laughs> uh, anyway, came to get those logs from the other day. The big tree, I fell in the corner of that house. That red one over there. Uh, over there. A little different angle, but maybe you'll recognize what the video was. But this was all one tree. It had many forks in it. And one big butt log. It's got a chunk of hardware in there I can't get out yet. I might have to cut it down still. Uh, we got a radio uh, antenna wire out of it. But there's something else a little further up. We might have to cut about six, eight feet off of it. Still make a saw log, but it'd be a shame if I have to. Anyway, uh, this is just a 10x ranch, they call this, and uh, used to be a cow ranch. But it is a magnificently beautiful place. There's a down towards the highway and across across the river, the South Fork of the Payette. That's a eight mile creek over there. Going back up in there, that'll take you if you take the trail, it'll go clear back into Bear Valley from Highway 21 from the South Fork. But uh just magnificent place. So just sharing a little bit of the wonderful country oh and after we got that tree down look at the top of that one so we already know we'll be back probably in the spring and the one right beside it is not looking healthy it might just be a big needle cast but i don't know uh, you see all the red needles in it But the other one's definitely dying, the top's dying out of it. And I think it's Ips beetle because they they uh, don't go from the bottom up like pine beetle. They go from the top down. Anyway, it's killed a couple of good trees here. So, there's a lot of big trees left in this place, but it's a shame to see these two, three, four hundred year old trees dying. But that's the way it goes. We all gotta go sometime. Here I go.